Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be making a baby belt belt. You need a couple things. You need carpet tape, you need a piece of construction paper, you need uh, some fabric. This is a fat quarter I got at Walmart. The uh, jig that's available up on GitHub. And of course, something to cut it all with. So the first thing you're gonna do is go back to kindergarten and fold the paper in half like a hot dog. Cut it in half. Now this is important to be as square as possible for obvious reasons. Two even half, so this will make two belts worth. Get the fabric ready. All right. Now there's two. Uh, those that work in fabrics will know that there's a non-stretchy way and a stretchy way. And we want our non-stretchy way this way here to be typically the length of the belt. You can play with it either way, but that's uh, that's how it's going to work out. Um, I found that it's usually best to make it be the non-stretchy way. So I'll just fold it over, put it through the old cutter here. I try to make this ever so slightly smaller than the construction paper because the construction papers are backing. So I'm just using the construction paper as a guide now, as a, basically a ruler to cheat. Well, like I said, we're going to make it about quarter inch or a mill or two smaller than the piece of construction paper. So fold that down, fold that down, pull that out, and it moved a little bit, which is okay. So, and cut it. Oops, didn't get a good cut. There's not really an exact science to this, so. There we go. Throw the fabric to the side. Throw this cutter to the side. So now, we have a strip of fabric that's just about the same size as the construction paper. So we're gonna have a nice Harry Potter belt here. So now we're gonna take the carpet tape and open it up. And yes, I'm intentionally using all the still in the packaging so that you guys get an idea of what it all looks like. If you want to buy it out of the short store yourself. I'm going to take construction paper and a jig. And yes, there is a slight seam in the middle here. And this part's a little tricky. Oops, if I have the tape started. What you want to do is start it in the middle. Oops, this stuff is super sticky. So you have to be careful. If you get it wrong on paper, that's it for the paper. So get it started in the middle. Nice and square, and I like to use the grid and the fabric to help me line up. Because if you can look carefully, carpet tape is a fabric that's sticky. So you can look in the carpet weave, in the weave of the tape itself, and see the uh, structure, and that'll help you make sure everything's square. And then from here, you can just wrap it around. I like to do the middle first, slightly crooked, but it'll work, so that it doesn't 
um, get cone shaped on you. That's the worst thing that you can do making the belt is make it not be um, circular. So I have the jig and everything else. It's okay if the carpet tape overlaps a little bit. Um, try to avoid it, but obviously keeping the carpet tape smooth is a priority here. Because if we have any bumps in our carpet tape, we'll have bumps in the belt. And as you can see, I am not overlapping any seam. And we're doing that so that we don't have any kinks or hard points in the uh, belt itself. Now I've obviously messed this up a little bit. I'm going a little bit off the edge here. I haven't made a belt since Earth, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to roll with that for now. Yeah, This is probably going to be a demo of a belt, not a uh, belt that ends up going to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see here we have the carpet all on there. Let's go ahead and peel the tape off. And this is overlapped here, so I'm going to peel one that's going underneath first, because otherwise it will mess up the tape above it if we pull the tape off that one first. I've got a little bit of the backing still in there. That's not to worry about. Like I said, though, this belt's not going to go to anybody. This is going to be a uh, stay-at-home slash demo belt. So there's that. And we take the fabric, and we do not want to put it right on the edge there. Like I said, we don't want any of these seams to overlap. So then we just take it, and I stretch it a little bit, and put it on. And just kind of, and this is reversible here. So if you mess this up, it's not this part. It's not the end of the world. Just kind of get it on as smooth as you can, without any creases or folds or anything. The bird is ushering encouragement in the background. I don't know if you can tell. You're probably thinking. Wow, you've got a huge overhang here at the end. Well, that's what the scissors are for. Now you do want to leave a little bit of an overhang because you don't want there to be any kind of printing on the uh, carpet tape underneath. But a uh, nice pair of scissors helps here, which I don't have. have it. A ugly but perfectly serviceable belt. To get it off, you just take the belt jig and you kind of make it kidney bean shaped and just break the uh, glue seams here. Because I went a little bit off here with the tape. Just pull right out. There we go. There we go. We have a belt. Hope you guys enjoyed. Good luck. Good luck building.